Initially, my daughter went to a new doctor and the doctor said to her, your iron levels are a bit high. So she actually got sent away to get tests done. So she come back and she said, yes, you've got it, but your parents must have it. You better jet then to get checked, plus all your family. So off we all headed. When got checked and um, we both have it. Anne has the gene, so do I, so that's why our kids end up with it. And from there, my story started and kept going. I started at a level of over 5,000. So at 5,000, it had already started attacking my organs in my body. So they sent me off to a hospital in Sydney. In Sydney, they checked me out and they said, yes, you've now got liver cancer caused by hemochromatosis. Well, they did ask if hemochrom uh, hemochromatosis did run in the family and it does. I think my mum's a carrier and my dad is also a carrier, so that would explain why I have it. It's hereditary, so if you do feel that you do have it, then you need to take that extra step and make sure that your family are protected as well. I still remember the day you were diagnosed. The seven of James's, in James's family, you know, I'm, I was on the phone to every single one of them. They all went and got tested. A couple of them are carriers. I said one brother's a diabetic, which we don't know whether that's what's caused it, but um, and the ones that were carriers, then you know their children were checked as well. So it's protected the whole family. So that that's probably been that's probably the good thing that's come out of James's diagnosis. One of my cousins actually has hemochromatosis, but he's quite a bit older, and when he got it, we never found out. So it's quite possible if that had been notified, it would have gone down through, and everyone would have probably got checked. The genetic aspects were very interesting. So I guess I had a good sense of it once it was explained to me. And of course, the recommendation is that you let all first degree relatives know because there is a significant chance that they too may have the same condition. So it's a good thing to let them know. But of course I told my mother about this because she knew I'd been very unwell and she was concerned. I was very surprised. She was quite upset. She blamed herself for giving me this condition and I was able to say to her, look, I just don't view it like that at all. You didn't do this deliberately. It's just the way it is. It's no, no big problem. I don't, certainly don't blame you for this, but she felt very guilty. Subsequently, we learnt that two of my three young adult children have the condition. And in spite of what I just said, I was terribly upset when I learned that. I, it was a purely emotional gut reaction. And for 24 hours, I was very upset. And then I thought, well, this is ridiculous. There was no need, they didn't blame me. So why was I blaming myself? And I didn't blame my mother. So it was a very interesting reaction. And I, it's, I've seen it in many, many people. My dad, years prior to my diagnosis, had mentioned that he had the gene and that, um, and that we might too. And he was sort of onto us saying, oh, you should get tested. Um, and I just ignored it to, at my peril. So um, it wasn't until years later when I went through what I went through that I discovered that I had iron overload. Once I was diagnosed and, you know, my dad was onto my brothers and my sister about getting tested, which they did. My older brother's really onto it. He gives blood every few months. Um, and, um, you know, they were obviously going to be informing their kids and making sure the kids are tested so because they could be carrying the double gene as well so it's obviously really important to keep on top of that. So when I told the family about what I'd found with respect to my diagnosis it was it was good to see them all take it in their stride um, so all of my immediate family were tested and my father was the only one that showed up as positive for the predisposition and also having um, the elevated iron levels. And he was starting to have um, some health concerns, so um, early diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. So him having that information that he might be at risk of the condition and then getting checked himself and finding out he was actually affected um, has definitely helped him now manage his iron levels, bring those down. Um, so at least that's accounted for and isn't impacting on his health anymore. So certainly in his case, it's been a a big benefit that our family has been detected and, um, and we can share that information more broadly.